Welcome back to the channel. So uh, I thought I'd just do a quick video today because uh, I'm finally changing the oil on old Hannibal Supra. Uh, I say finally because it's an absolute nightmare and it's something I'm not looking forward to and it also involves me buying extra new ramps which are down here um, because the car's quite low and even with ramp extenders it wouldn't go up the existing ramps we've got so uh, 150 pounds later um, I bought these ones that it's actually on now uh, believe it or not they're capable to two and a half tons but even then it still needed the uh, ramp extender <laughs> to get it up um, so yes the other reason I don't enjoy doing this is when we look under the bonnet it's a maze and the last time me and my brother did it it took two of us two hours uh, stripping all this air intake system off with one of us going from the top and one of us going from the bottom uh, because you can't even see the oil filter um, we've now got a new tool which i'm hoping will help and uh, will result in much less swearing and cursing um, but yeah really toyota it's like this car should be serviced every 4,000 miles according to Toyota schedule and they put the oil filter in the most horrendous place possible um, so yeah even to the point where companies have actually developed uh, remote oil filter kits so it does push it off to one side but uh, yeah I haven't invested in one of those yet and uh, it just takes much cursing so it's not a job I enjoy doing uh, so literally you've just got the oil drain pan um, it runs because of its leggy mileage just 1040 semi synth uh, in it and just a, a generic oil filter but I won't show you me doing the job because I sort of don't have a tripod to put you on to be honest all you'll see is my legs kicking from underneath the car with um, probably a lot of swearing so yeah, come back to me in a little while and I'll tell you how easy or hard it actually went. Um, so join me in a little while. Well, hello. So you join me actually underneath of the Mark III Supra. So yes, I know it's uh, oily. Um, do sort of ignore that. But I just wanted to show you where the oil filter is buried. So there it is. <laughs> so as you can see, if I could sort of move you around without getting too sick, it's not a very easy place to get to um so uh, luckily ryan bought a oil removal tool that's much better than the chain ones which i'll show you a little later on but uh yeah i just wanted to sort of show you where it is underneath the car and just how much of a, a nightmare it is and to give you an example this is how far back i'm actually laying underneath the car um so yeah as i say do ignore the oil bits well, i know it it does have a bit of incontinence from various places but it's done 180,000. but uh yeah i just wanted to show you that's where the bugger of an oil filter is so uh yeah remote kit <laughs> so join me again soon right folks welcome back so i spared you the uh video of me just topping up the oil because it's not interesting in the slightest so it's done um, the tool that we got for uh, undoing the oil filter was just amazing. Saved so much uh, hassle, although it was still tight under there, um, as you'll see in sort of an earlier clip I put on. But uh, yeah, that's old Hannibal uh, service for another 4,000 miles, uh, which is about a year in its, its sort of running. Um, I'm going to stick it in for its MOT soon, so... Fingers crossed for that because it runs out in October. Um, but I had a choice of doing this or if I spin you around um, the Corrado over there. Uh, but this, rather than the Corrado, doesn't like being sat up over winter. So um, I'll keep this one on the road and do the Corrado a bit later on. Because especially with costs at the moment, two MOTs in uh, a month is, uh, yeah, <laughs> expensive. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, do like and subscribe. See you again soon.